This multifunction tester from Test Instrument Solutions won a top product award in 2019 and 2021. But is it really any good? So normally I would stand here and take you through the features and benefits of this MFT Pro, but this time I'm going to be doing things a little differently. For the first section we will look at some of the features of the MFT Pro, but I've come up with a series of tests and challenges to really see if it's any good and how it fares in the real world and answer some of those common questions asked by electricians. <laughs> Feels good. I was expecting it to be heavier, but actually it's not that bad as it weighs in at only 1.4 kilograms. And when you hold it like this with two hands, it's like I'm holding a chunkier clipboard. And TIS must have thought of this because all the buttons are in reach of my thumbs and I have famously stubby thumbs. <laughs> You can always tell who the electrician is on site by the mess that's left behind and that they don't own a pair of gloves with the fingertips on. Well, it appears TIS have thought about this as this large touchscreen is resistive, meaning you can use it with gloves on. It does come with straps, which at first do look like a climbing harness, but once you've got it clipped in and you've got it hanging round your neck, you can set it to the perfect viewing position and it makes it virtually hands-free. <laughs> The buttons at the front are pretty robust, and try as I might, I've not been able to get them to stick yet, even with my greasy fingers all over them. When we fire up the MFT Pro, we get a really vibrant and bright colour touchscreen. The home section has your continuity and insulation resistance, loop and RCD, but we can move through all the tests by pressing the arrow here. Oh, and if you prefer, there is a little stylus hidden in this flap. We can navigate through the different tests, set test parameters, and save test results. But what does this button do here? Well, pressing this button brings up a handy help screen which shows you where to put the probes and how it should look when we carry out the tests. Probably the toughest test I could think of. We're gonna spend the day with Brandon here with the MFT Pro from TIS and see if it really can survive the day. Right, so we're giving this MFT to Brandon for the day. Do you right. think it's going to see the day out? Absolutely not. It's pretty good it's going to break it. Okay then, Brandon. So this is the MFT Pro from TIS. I want you to use that today and treat it like something that just doesn't belong to you. Yeah, we'll give it a go. Brilliant stuff. So while Brandon gets acquainted, we're going to be going through some of the really cool features on it, including loop testing, RCD, R1, R2, and using this pretty cool device here. It's pretty well equipped. You even get this battery charger, so... Even at the end of the day when you've used all your double A's, you can recharge them ready for the day after. So the MFT Pro does boast some really unique features, including this one for insulation resistance. With just one plug-in and one press of the button, I can test across all of my conductors making sure that the insulation is absolutely fine. So the lads haven't got the power on yet to this particular property. So I'm going to head down to another site where I can do a loop test using the MFT Pro. The loop test on this MFT Pro is really accurate. Even on the no trip setting, it doesn't matter where you are on the ring or radial, you're going to get the similar or the same results no matter where you are. But what I do like is this setting here the auto mode. What this test will do is all your earth loops, prospective fault currents, and RCDs as well. Meaning, from one socket, you can do all of your checks and you're not having to run up and down the stairs countless times to reset the RCD. So Brandon's been using the MFT Pro from Test Instrument Solutions for the best part of the day now. So let's go find out and see what he thinks. What do you think? Well, it's a great test of the hard cases, second to none. You know yeah. what, when you launch your stuff in the van, as demonstrated <laughs> earlier, it's gonna survive that test. But no, it's also really, it's easy to touch screen, the stylus, everything about it really, can't go wrong. Brilliant stuff. Well, thanks for having me along today. I'm gonna to now be heading over to an industrial unit to see how the MFT Pro can fare there. <laughs> Well, I found this willing three-phase supply to have a play with. Well, actually, I'm not going to play with this one, but I'm going to play on a three-phase consumer unit a little bit further in the factory. With the MFT Pro, we can safely move between lines without fear of blowing the MFT up. Here's something neat as well. When you carry out phase rotation testing, you can do it with just a single lead, which is great as you don't have to have two hands to make that third connection whilst holding the probe in between your teeth. <laughs> 
That's a really specific question. Well, let's have a go. First, let's switch off this supply. So using the MFT Pro, we can do a power quality analysis where we can measure the voltage, current, reactive power, true power, and the power factor, including the harmonics of the supply. This is a really useful feature, certainly for electricians and designers looking to install inductive loads like welding sets and motors. Clamping on the HT96U clamp meter and our other probes across the phase connections, we can see on screen that we get a readout which shows us the supply harmonics, power factor, your true apparent and reactive power readings. We can also test leakage using the MFT Pro and the HT96U clamp. It's really easy as well. You can stick it around the three phases and see if there's any leakage. We can also stick it over the earthing conductor to see if we've got any leakage there. Another great feature with the MFT Pro is the volt drop function. You might be thinking why we need to know about volt drop. But with more and more inverters and battery storage systems being installed, volt drop is more critical than ever, certainly if we consider that an inverter should have a volt drop of 1%. But I don't have an inverter here, so I better get to where I have an inverter. Oh, well that's better. So this works by taking a ZE measurement at the consumer unit. We can then go up to our incoming isolator and take another measurement. Before we do go into the volt drop setting, we put the impedance here from the consumer unit, the protective device size here, and the allowable volt drop, which on power circuits is 5%. However, as this is an inverter, I'm gonna set this to 1%. Pressing the tick here and the go button will give the volt drop percentage and impedance of the circuit with a clear indication if it has passed or not. I do like this feature as volt drop on solar and battery systems can cause real issues with inverters tripping if the volt difference is too great. And that was really easy. <laughs> So according to this banner here, this MFT has won awards for its electric vehicle charging sequence. So let's give it a go on this charger here to see if it really is award winning stuff. So looking at the EV Test 100, we have this type two lead to plug into the charger and the ports for connecting the MFT Pro and an interlink cable which syncs the MFT and EV Test 100 together. We can follow the instructions on screen to make sure we get our connections correct onto the EV charge point. And the bit I do like is this flashing part here, which when flashing indicates what we need to set these dials to on the EV Test 100. Honestly, I thought this unit when I first saw it was going to be really complicated, but it really isn't. In fact, I've walked away from this charge point knowing I have really tested it and for me it's that kind of confidence we need in our test equipment to ensure we comply with the regulations. Speaking of which, when testing RCDs we can change our RCD types for that DC current like most MFTs but we can test the RDCDD or residual direct current detection device that we find inside most EV chargers. So we can make sure that if a DC current was to feed into the installation, the RDCDD will trip and trip in the 10 seconds required by BS7671. Gary did a full suite of tests with the EV Test 100 and MFT Pro, and I will leave a link to that in the description below. <laughs> I've spent a bit of time with this MFT Pro and quite honestly have really enjoyed using it. It's very user friendly with some great features, some I've not seen on other MFTs. It comes with a three years calibration and warranty which adds that extra peace of mind. It survived the day with our apprentice and we really did give it a bit of a kick in. So if you're in the market for an MFT be sure to check these guys out over at Test Instrument Solutions or go and see them at their head offices in Leeds or the many calibration days that they do in wholesalers. And if you have been using the MFT Pro or any of the other test equipment from TIS, then let me know what you think in the comments below and be sure to check out this Q&A I did on continuity testing using this MFT Pro from Test Instrument Solutions.